Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this episode today, we're gonna animate the weight of your text. So what I mean is we're gonna animate the text from being bold text to thin or the other way around. Now, I have my text here already and I've chosen sans serif font that generally has similar weight all over. So for example, the B stalk and the B curve has similar weight with the O, with the L. We don't want to choose a font that has different weight. Like for example, this one, this stalk is definitely has different weight to this. You see, this side O's has different weight to the top and bottom. So we don't want that. We want something like this. Now, if you select your text layer and then right click, go to create and then create shapes from text. So that just generate a shape layer automatically from your text layer. So you have an outline layers now. We want to select the letters one by one and add offset paths. Now we want to select the letters one by one because we want to adjust the offset paths individually. So for example, I'm just going to delete this again. So if you just select the layer and then click on add offset paths, it will go to the bottom of all these letters and then apply that effect to all of the letters at once. So you can't adjust the effect separately and we don't want that in this case. So we want to select the letters one by one and then click add and offset paths. And then what offset paths do is basically just adding and decreasing the weight of your letters, which is pretty cool. So you can make your bold text to thin text. So we want to start on zero and then create a keyframe. Go to one second and then we're going to minus this, say minus 15 to make it like really thin. Go to two seconds, create another keyframe and just leave it as minus 15. Go to three seconds and then move it back to zero. And we want, we want to just easy ease all of these keyframes. And if you preview this, Um, I'm actually just going to edit the graph editor a little bit. Just make sure you're under edit speed graph, by the way, and select all the, all of the keyframes and drag the handle all the way to the left, all of the handles like that. It's just kind of like, give it, um, a little bit of like smooth ending at the end. The next thing is we just want to copy and paste this offset path. So copy and then paste it to the rest of the letters. And let's preview that again. Now they look pretty cool, but you see if you pay attention to this N at the end, um, the lines are separated. That is because if we see, they kind of have like slightly different weight which I didn't notice before, but that's okay. We just have to fix the offset pass. So if we go to N, which is should be the last one, we want to do maybe minus 12 to fix it. Yeah, that's fine. And then minus 12 again. And then we're just going to copy paste this um, to the rest of the letters. Now, if you preview this, yeah, that looks pretty cool to me. All right, you're almost done. All I want to do is just to offset these keyframes by two frames. So I'm just going to fast forward this. There you go, you're all set. Thanks so much for watching this, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please leave in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I always be releasing new tutorials. And if you have any requests on what tutorials I should do, leave it in the comment below. Thanks guys.